Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. So we're gonna do something a little different. This is gonna be a two-part series. So if you don't already know, we recently moved here to Chicago and apartment is still a mess, but I need to work on my closet. I literally have my clothes spread throughout the primary closet, primary bedroom floor. There's, I think, some dinner jackets in a closet down the hall, dinner jackets in the entry hall closet, and I have to figure out what to do with like 45 plus pairs of shoes in 30 some odd handbags. So I have my work cut out for me. And this closet, it's a bit a bit, a bit smaller. It does hold more than our last one does, but footprint wise, it's, it's a little compact for a walk-in. It's kind of a walk-through actually. It goes into the primary bath. So today we're gonna go to Ikea and pick up a bookcase so I can store some of my larger bags, like my new peekaboo, um, my larger Balenciaga briefs. And I think the Sade clutch also needs a spot of importance. So I'll probably put him on there. And yeah, so I'm gonna take you guys with me to Ikea. And then through the process of building the stupid bookcase, which is gonna be pretty easy. I'm a whiz at building stuff. And yeah, then we'll do a closet tour. And maybe a bedroom tour if it's picked up by then. Not hopeful. Anyway, so today I had planned on cutting the tags off of my new Fendi peekaboo, because I need with this outfit. Hello. We're going for some neutral tones today. And I'm not doing my hair. It's Indigenous People's Day. I have the day off from work. I'm not putting stuff in my hair. So we're gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, so because it's going to be raining, as you can tell, it's pretty gray and, and glum outside. Just like yesterday, I will be using my Prada nylon clutch which holds quite a bit. I have a full-size Balenciaga wallet in there, gum, Shiseido papers, keys, and of course my Ikea coupon. Since it's my birthday this month, I get $10 off my purchase. So I'm gonna be saving some money on this bookcase. And yeah, so come along with us. We're gonna head to Ikea here in a little bit and get this underway. Okay, so we finally made it to Ikea, like what, an hour later? 30 minutes. Well, we spent 10 or 15 looking for your lost wallet. Mm. Really? <laughs> so Zane lost his wallet. Normally it's me who loses stuff, like last week when I left my uh, debit card on the floor of Target. That was fun. Anyway, so we found Zane's wallet. It was just under a pile of clothes or whatever in our messy room, which is why we're doing this, because I need to make my closet neater, I guess. Anyway, so we are finally at Ikea. We had to take my car because Zane's has been at the shop for the last two weeks. Mm -hmm. It's leaking something into the cabin. Anyway, it's under warranty, which is great because BMW's had it for the last, what, today's literally week two? Yeah, week two. And I have to put the interior back in, so that'll be fun. Anyway, so we're gonna head into Ikea. I can't decide if I want veggie meatballs here or if I wanna go to Shake Shack across the street. I'll have veggie meatballs here and then I'll get a milkshake. <laughs> there we go. We had burgers last night for dinner. Okay, so let's run in. It's a tornado watch, so this is gonna be exciting, guys. All right, mm -hmm. we'll see you inside. So we just left Ikea and I originally intended to go in and buy a $30 bookcase mm -hmm. for my closet. And as you guys saw that quickly evolved into what was $530 for my closet. And then we designed something for Zane's, which was like 250. Yeah, 250, 280. 280, kind of different plan. So I want to go home before we purchase all this crap and make sure it actually fits. And uh, the PAX collection. So if anyone has the PAX collection, if you can give me like any insight or any tips, tricks, or you know, maybe like a don't do what I did kind of situation, let me know down in the comments. So that way I don't make the same mistake. And we'll probably come back um, next weekend with a U-Haul because for some reason, none of this can be delivered. And we live in the next suburb over. That's I think we need to talk to someone. Probably. Anyway, so Zan wants to go to Half Price Books. We're gonna head over there. And then uh, the next time you see me in, the, in this video, will probably be a week from now when we're uh, buying all the stuff for our closets. 
Yeah. Time travel. Ooh. All right, guys. So it's day two of this IKEA closet adventure. Uh, it's October 17th. So we're thinking that we're going to have to go back and buy the different pieces at IKEA several different times. Um, it doesn't appear like they have all of them in stock and I just kind of want to get started building. And we finally got Zane's car back, as you can tell. Uh, what, three weeks later? It would have been three weeks this Monday. Yeah, so tomorrow would have been three weeks. Apparently there was like a crack in the AC or something and it was like leaking into the interior. So they had to rip everything out of the inside, find the leak, which took two and a half weeks, order the part, fix the AC, and then put the entire interior back in, found out it was still a little damp, pulled the interior back out, put it all back in and detailed it for us. Luckily, all that was under warranty. Could you imagine what a three week stay at a BMW dealership would have cost? Not sure I want to. Anyway, so before we head to Ikea, there are a few um, Goodwills that we want to hit. I'm hoping that we're going to find some kind of like high end, second hand things. I'm really looking for a suede bag right now. I don't know why, but I just like fall makes me want a big, beautiful suede bag. Speaking of, I once had a gorgeous, very limited Coach Bleeker XL reversible tote. It was chambray blue, suede on the outside, and you can flip it out to the, that thick, vegetable dyed vachetta leather. If anyone has one and wants to sell it to me, I will pay you. I'll check in once we get to Goodwill and follow along. Okay, so we just left Ikea and we had our uh, closets all planned out. We took our documents up to the little pack guy at the counter. We're like, hey, can you help us find these parts? And then he just kind of starts highlighting. He's like, listen, I've highlighted everything that's not in stock. And for the bases, we're not expecting those until May of 2023. Yeah, those frames are mm -hmm. out of stock. Gone. So he was like, all, you can, the, all the US, yep, all the US is out. Um, he's like, you can buy these shelves, but he's like, without anything to put them in, what's the point? Like, right yeah. so i guess we'll continue our closet journey so who knows when this video will be updated again yeah so we're gonna put this uh on hold and hopefully we'll get some closet organization so stay tuned okay so update this is just a couple days later it is october 21st i believe okay that sounds right it's a thursday so zane was playing around on ikea's website and he found that they had the black brown in stock not the white of course and whatever oh, wow. um and only like 68 70% of it. So we're here now. Hopefully we're going to leave with the majority of our closets. Hopefully. And we can just buy the rest as it comes in eventually down the road. Yeah, they're just drawers. The frame's the big thing. The frame's the big thing. I think there's yeah. some shelves missing. Um, but other than that, so fingers crossed. Hopefully when I get back on, we have some boxes behind us. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so update, it is now the first week in December, I think it's December 8th, and they have a lot of the shelves and the drawers in stock, but not the frames. So rather than risk it, I think it's just smart to come in and get the shelves. So wish me luck, I hope the website was right. <laughs> all right, so they had almost all of it except for a frame and a shelf. I'm gonna have a closet, you guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> there it all is, and <laughs> we have the arduous task of fitting it in the X1. Wish us luck. <laughs> We did it. We got 98% of it. We just need one more wardrobe frame and what? I think a shelf. Not bad. It was supposed to be in stock on Friday, which is a lot better than what, May 2023? Yeah. Is what they told us. So I'm going to have a big boy closet finally. So if you want to see what a cramped little X1 can do, check it out. So back here I have all of the shelves and drawers. 
and <laughs> I'll be riding in the back seat tonight. <laughs> Wish us luck. All right, guys, so this is an impromptu closet tour before we start getting to work on the IKEA pack system. Now, this isn't even half of my clothing, probably not even a third, quite honestly, or all of my shoes, because this closet is so small. So this is the, when you come in from the primary bedroom and you're going into the primary bathroom. This is kind of like my accessory side. So as you can see, I've got some bags up here at the top. I have like wallets and things and all these small boxes. Um, there's the new coach bag with the fur. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna have that stupid song stuck in my head. The Saint Laurent Sade clutch, a couple of Balenciaga wallets, a little bit of long trunk peeking out in coach, some head wraps, Louis Vuitton box, there's a peekaboo, there is my mini cash and tote and some Louis Vuitton wallets stacked up, the Multicolor Marilyn, my other Fendi peekaboo. These are some of my smaller bags. And I, I'm missing a few in there. Yeah, I have a big Ikea hat. Don't look at the floor, it's disgusting. <laughs> and then on the other side, this is just kind of like my clothing. So I keep all my designer ready to wear, or most of, hanging in these bags here. I have some folded up out in the drawers as well. And then this is just kind of like everyday clothing that I've worn. You guys have probably seen me in a lot of these already. Here's some Versace, Armani, Zara. <laughs> um, I think I filmed, I know I filmed in this shirt before, that's a Zara, Zara, Zara. And then I have a lot of ASOS too somewhere. Here's some Cavalli from a few years ago. And who's this? Saks Fifth Avenue. Here's a Gucci, an older Gucci tuxedo shirt. Should probably be in a dust bag. I have some designer luggage down here <laughs> and shoes underneath here. There's my Gucci loafers, super glamorous. Cole Haan. What's back there? Oh my God, I have more shoes back there I forgot about. Cool. Don't think I've ever worn those Pumas. Coach Mini Signature. These hang to the floor. And then of course I have nothing but shoes over here as well. So overall, pretty gross, pretty unorganized, pretty sad. I love clothes, shoes, accessories, everything you can imagine. So the fact that I have such a sad closet is hugely embarrassing. <laughs> um, gosh, I, I know I filmed in that before. Oh, here's a vintage Dior robe, Dior Monsieur. I haven't worn that yet. It's fabulous. Um, what else do we have? Ooh, this shirt, check out this collar. How dramatic is that? So I know I keep promising you guys like a designer ready to wear collection video. I'm working on it, I'm getting there. Um, a crystal harness, anyone? <laughs> Up here I've got my Balenciaga, that's the quilted Napa puffer, quilted whatever clutch, Balenciaga clip clutch. My, I get all my garment bags and things from the laundress and some shoe, what do you call those? Shoe shapers, shoe stuffers? I don't know, you know what I mean. Uh, Longchamp in the coach bag is a vintage Gucci because we love chaos around here, obviously. Um, is this, oh, this is the daily pouch here. And then one of my favorite pieces from Gucci, the made for factory bamboo tassel clutch. Okay, so today the goal is I'm going to get all of this pulled out. I've got to get all these coats and furs thrown out on the bed. Move the shoes. I'm going to have to figure out how to remove these wire racks. I absolutely hate wire racks, but I'm gonna make them work. I'm gonna pull them out from this side and then put the built-in pack system over here and then move another rack of wire shelving over to this wall. And then maybe move, because there's two pieces over here, so maybe move a second piece up there for like shoes and stuff. I don't, I don't know what we're gonna do. But as you can tell, I'm not working with a whole lot of space. The apartment's huge, my closet is not. So we're gonna help fix that today with the pack system. Okay, so once I get this cleared out and vacuumed up, I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, so I've cleared everything out and now it's very echoey, but the next part of the project is going to be to remove these god-awful closet-made wire racks. Wish me luck. And just like that, <laughs> my wire racks were finally gone. All right, you guys, it was so much easier than I thought it would be. Literally, it's just like a nail pin holding the anchor into the wall. You slide the nail out using, these are the recommended tools. This is my uh, staple remover. I do a lot of my own upholstery. And then just a couple of like pliers and I think wire cutters maybe. And then I use the staple puller to get behind the nail, pull it out from the anchor, and then I just hold it out the rest of the way. And then you can literally reuse them again, which is great. So there's some of my pieces. Eventually, I think I'm going to do like a rack over on this wall and then maybe like a longer rack up at the end since it's gonna be the same length. 
probably like sweaters and whatnot, so we'll see. And then I'll probably use the shorter rack maybe for like some of these nicer pieces, just to kind of hang on their own and whatnot. But that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be in here all day pulling these out and adding a bunch of holes. So now all I have to do is putty these, paint them Benjamin Moore Athena, and it's like it never happened. All right, we're gonna get the pack system up soon, so stay tuned, you guys. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so it is 12.30. I'm a little exhausted. I'm a little over it. Um, I have never built something this, oh my crap, oof. I have never built something this in depth from Ikea before and it's driving me a little crazy. I mean, overall it's not that bad. It's just trying to build it in our very full apartment and trying to maneuver it around things, getting it up in here, and it's 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 pretty involved. Um, and I didn't realize that the pack system, I thought it was gonna be like the billies and you just like kind of like stuck those little pegs in the hole and then drop the, the shelf on top of it. No, you have to screw each one in individually. I mean, thank you, I'm glad it's secure, but not a step I needed. I'm also low key gonna skip the step about anchoring it to the wall. Will I regret that later? Maybe. I doubt it though, it's pretty heavy. I gave it a bum test, I don't think it's going anywhere. But let me show you what I have so far. So aside from this mess, and those are the shelves I have left put into this one, I am making progress. And look how high that thing goes. I got the 92 inches one, um, because I'm six foot seven, we have, I think nine foot, I don't know. I, we have tall ceilings. I knew it would fit and I'm always buying bags as you all know, so I need the space. So for the system, and I'm going to have the other one on this side, I think I did like a 29 inch. I think this is a 19 and then I did a 29 inch for the other side just because I couldn't get two 29s. Math's not my strong suit, we all know that. Anyway, so I've designed them both to be pretty similar. I did the deepest one that I could and I'm going to have um, risers on the bags in the back so that way you can see them all and it kind of looks like a department store in here. So I have drawers on the bottom and it'll be mirrored over on this side as well that way I can do like, you know, accessories, SLGs, things like that down below and then bags starting up on top and then all the way up. So this side is going to be mostly like handbags and clutches and things. The wider one is going to be for like luggage and larger totes and things like that. So. Hopefully I don't fill it up super fast, but I'm sure I will. And I still haven't tackled this side of the closet yet. There's some Louis Vuitton luggage, clothing, and I probably have just about half as much or twice as much of this clothing. There should be on hangers laying out on the floor in the bedroom. So this is gonna be quite a project for me. Wish me luck, we're almost there. Two months later, I am so excited. This is gonna look great, but I'm gonna get these shelves in and then get the things that I have laying on the bed, off the bed, just kind of throw it in here for the night because your boy's exhausted. I need to shave, I look like crap. It's nearly 1 a.m. and I'm sure the neighbors love me for all the noise I'm making, so sorry about it. I'm gonna have a great closet, so I hope that makes you as happy as me. All right, stay tuned guys, we're almost there. All right, it's day two of building the PAX closet. And so far, so good. Um, so this is just kind of a preliminary setup. I have my Gucci Python, Balenciaga Barb's clutch and Gucci clutch on that level. Both peak boos are sitting on that level. The Muse 2 YSL Sade clutch and Uptown clutch are all sitting on that shelf. A couple Balenciagas. And then these Louis Vuitton are hiding some of my stacked Balenciaga clutches. And this is gonna be just like uh, wallets and such. More clutches, that's just kind of a preliminary to get them out of the way last night. So on this side, I'm going to have pretty much the same design. I'll have the two shell, uh, excuse me, two drawers, wood shelf, and then more glass shelves up the top. <sighs> I'm ready to be done with this project. I'm not going to show myself. I'm disgusting, my hands are all cut up, my back hurts, but it's worth it for this closet. We're almost there. And then I still, this is the other half of my closet, need to tackle this mess over here. Okay, nearly two months and a full day's worth of time later, I finally have the Ikea Pax closet installed and it looks phenomenal. <laughs> I am a dirty gross mess. It's nearly Sunday evening at this point, and I've been working on this all day since my video went live, and this is the progress. So, so far, 
down at the bottom I have the two shelves and then I'm thinking about doing like maybe like smaller clutches and shoulder bags on those bottom two levels I might move these Balenciagas over because I have a new Balenciaga coming reveal coming soon or you've already seen it by now uh Saint Laurent shelf it probably needs to be a little bit bigger these are just some rando pieces that I'll move around eventually this shelf here is going to be all peekaboos that coach shelf is pretty much done I kind of like to keep all up there by himself because he's kind of a special bag for me and then all of my Taiga luggage pieces will go up here. All right, you guys. So thank you so much. I know this vlog was months long. You got to see several different hairstyles, including a really bad haircut. It's growing out finally. And um, it's crazy to think that this all started literally three months ago, October, November, December. Still not good at math, but two or three months ago. Three, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so we're finally here and I am so excited to share my closet with you guys. I'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of what's going on behind me. Uh, some exciting things back there. And so this was part one of two. I, I know I already said that at the beginning. So obviously coming up this Sunday, I'm going to give you guys a full closet tour. I'm going to get all of this bag candy out of their dust bags. So that way we can kind of look at them and play around a little bit in my closet. I'm going to show you guys my runway and ready to wear collection as well on Sunday. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. I've been promising it for months and it's finally here. We're going to do it. I promise. Um, I'm a little COVID heavy right now because of uh, the last, you know, being locked up in quarantine and not eating very healthy. I've been literally having DoorDash every night. My bad. So I can't model anything for you guys yet. I'm working on it though, starting this week. Wish me luck. Anyway, so thank you guys again so much for coming on this journey with me. To build the Ikea Pax closet was a monumental feat. I, I honestly thought we were we were going to pull in and drive away with us some boxes and then have it all put together in one night. Little did I know it would literally take three months to get to this point crazy. Anyway, guys, again, thank you. Uh, if you don't already follow me over on Instagram, go ahead and find me over there, caleb.snell.designer, and then same name over on TikTok. And yeah, so I will see you guys on Sunday for a closet tour and a highly requested runway ready to wear uh, designer collection that I have. I have quite a few exciting pieces from Giorgio Armani that we've probably seen on the runway, quite a few Gucci, a little bit of Tom Ford some Versace, I think. We'll dive in. It's a whole thing. So again, I will see you guys on Sunday. Until then, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.